In this video, we'll talk about balancing a routine. If you truly want to change your ways and start waking up earlier in the day, one thing you must establish is a routine. Every person functions more efficiently when they're working with a routine. Your routine might be to get up, get ready for work, then work a nine to five shift. After that, you come home, have something to eat, finish chores or responsibilities, and maybe go outside for a while. Then you sleep to start the day again. This is simply a generic routine. It doesn't apply to everyone though. If sleeping late is something you do often, then it becomes part of your routine. Routines are similar to habits. Once you've developed them, they're hard to shake off. To change your daily routine means that you're committed to dedicate a portion of time and effort every day to get things done. This can be tricky since you always prefer to go about things the easier way. It's human nature. In order for you to submerge a new habit into your day, it's essential that progress occurs one step at a time. Don't try to skip to the end results where you're an early riser and you wake up sparkling like a sunflower in the prairie fields. Life isn't that easy. You can only advance at a steady pace, and that pace can be slow at times. You may not even wake up as you wanted to on the first few days. You may not get yourself to sleep on time, even if you're tucked in bed at nine. It'll all take time and baby steps to finally change your routine into a better one. Since you'll be taking one step at a time, the first step you must take is waking up early in the morning. Waking up in the morning. This is the main goal, so this is where you'll start. Yes, this may seem counterproductive to the statement enlisted above, take baby steps, but the truth is, this is the first baby step you'll have to take. The only way you'll ever start is by starting large, seeing where that leads you, and discover what's stopping you. When you fail to wake up fresh in multiple attempts, you can try to figure out the reason why. It may be because though you went to bed early, you actually fell asleep late and therefore required more sleep. It could also be that though you went to sleep early, you had nothing provided to help you wake up so early, which resulted in your subconscious waking you up as it usually would. When you go big the first time, you're bound to go wrong. Mistakes are what you'll learn from, and from there, you make better and smarter choices. After a feeble attempt the first time, you can correct your mistakes to make for a better prepared night and a healthier, happier morning. Another point to remember, your morning should never be a struggle. If you find that you woke up on the wrong side of the bed or your morning isn't going well at all, then rest some more and try again tomorrow. No matter how hard we try, not every morning is going to be perfect. And if it were up to us, we never would actually rise early. Sleep is great. And if you're not getting enough of it, you'll never be the morning angel that awakes with the call of the sun. Sleeping at night. Sleeping on time is just as important as waking up on time. Though no one will ever force you to do so, it's better to sleep early. Your parents only ever yelled at you to go to bed because they knew the horrible feeling of waking up late and hating the rest of their day. All parents want their children to rise happy and full of energy. That's why, like any parent, you'll have to be on your own back, pestering yourself to sleep on time. Everyone has heard the saying, the night is still young. And yes, it's a very fun motto to live by, yet... It's also an unhealthy motto to succumb to. Though it seems to be all fun and games when you hoot amongst the night owls, the day to come, the day where you'll be spending time with work colleagues and people that matter to you, won't be as much fun. The truth is that the day was made to fulfill opportunity and experiences, not so you could lounge around and do nothing. Being active in the day is much more important than being active at night, and so sleeping early becomes the next step to your progress. Every person requires 8 to 10 hours of sleep daily. So if you plan to wake up at 7 in the morning, you'll have to go to sleep at at least 11 in the night for 8 hours. If you think you'll be better off with 10 hours of sleep, then you'll have to go to sleep at 9 at night. It may seem cruel and bring along nostalgic memories of school nights, but it's for the best. Once the late nights are gone, the mornings will be easier to manage. 
you'll eventually start waking up in the morning feeling much better and staying up at night will become much harder. This balance will make for a healthy routine and a surefire habit of rising with the sun. The reaction of your actions. While you become the increasingly positive morning bird, you'll have to watch out for other pesky habits that can prevent you from staying up too late and returning you back to your lethargic ways. It's always easier to return back to the way things were. If you fall asleep late once and wake up late, you may stray on this routine for days before you can fix your schedule once more. In order to prevent this, there are some other habits you may have to shake off. Perhaps you end up procrastinating your chores until the end of the day. You may watch television in the night or even simply enjoy the quiet starry sky above your head. There's nothing wrong with any of these hobbies or habits, but they will interrupt your attempt to rise early. Anything you do after the sun sets will affect your sleep. Therefore, it's better to wrap all of your chores and jobs before the sun sets so you can properly finish the day. If you make late night plans with family or friends, pre-plan them so they don't fall too late into the night. It's all right when once in a while you stay up late, but staying up late is an easier habit to catch than waking up early. Before you do anything, think about what the result will be. Naturally, if you have coffee at 8 in the evening, you're not going to sleep anytime soon. Going out for late night movies are most likely going to keep you up for the next few nights. Hangovers and late night parties aren't any help either for the morning. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.